How to change the color of characters in Create Studio. Sometimes, changing colors can give a whole new look to your video. In this video, I will show you how you can actually do that. But first, here's a couple of reminders. Changing colors is not native to Create Studio. So a third-party video editing app is required, such as Adobe Premiere Pro. After changing the colors, you can finish editing in the third-party app, or if you want to import it back to Create Studio, make sure to export it again without any background. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started. How to export characters without background. First, make sure that the background is set to black. Next, drag and drop any character to the timeline and assign actions that you want. And lastly, select the file type to MOV with transparency when you're ready to publish it. Exporting Background Just drag and drop any background of your choosing into the timeline and simply export it as MP4. Make it 10 seconds or longer so you have flexibility with the duration. How to change colors of characters. For this tutorial, I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro. But I'm pretty sure that your video editing app will have an equivalent video effect, so do your research about it. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I've imported a few characters and a background. Let's drag a character into our timeline. Then to change the color, go to the Effects panel, search for Change to Color, and drag the effect to the clip, like so. Then we go to the Effects Controls panel and here under, Change to Color Effect, where it says, From. Click on the eyedropper tool and click on any area of the character that you want to change the color. Then here where it says, To. Click on the white box and select the new color that you want. You can also play around with the settings right here, until you get the desired effect that you like. Then we can add a background by moving the character one layer above and placing the background below the character. Let's try it with another character, shall we? Again, we drag the character into the timeline. Then apply the Change to Color effect. Then use the From eyedropper icon to pick the color that we want to change. Then we click the white box right here and pick a new color. And we're done. We just changed the color of her shirt with just a few clicks. If you want to change another color, you need to drag another, change to color effect and change the from and to colors accordingly. You may need to play around with the rest of the settings right here to get the desired effect. There are some cases that it's not possible to change the color, or the color is way off. So take note of that. I believe that changing the black color can be quite difficult or almost impossible. By the way, you can also change colors of 2D characters and other objects too. Just experiment and play around with the change to color effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm pretty sure you can come up with colorful characters. And that is how you change colors of characters in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's very easy to do, right? With constant practice, I'm pretty sure you will get it. Let's just hope that in a future update, we will be allowed to customize characters in Create Studio. So let's keep our fingers crossed. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you found this video helpful, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.